y'all what's up and welcome to my channel anyways y'all my bad for the last clip but i wanted to show you guys this western star this is my first time in a western star so you know you got your windows all these gadgets you know what i'm saying it's it's nice i like it all these wonderful buttons over here engine brake headlights more lights this is your parking brakes and your all oh, release buttons whatever then we have uh these are my load lights and trailer suspension and uh it's pretty nice hold on let's crank up this bad boy so i can show you what it looks like so cool beans ain't it it's a nice it's a nice sounding truck I'm still learning this shit. Uh, let's see. Hook up lines. All right, guys. So this is the top of the year. There goes a Johnny over there. Don't even know that I'm recording. Western Star seats. There's the bottom. I don't know if this is somebody's cooler. No, this is a part of the truck. Excuse my wipes. These are for wiping my truck down. And yeah, it's pretty nice. Obviously, you have your trailer and stuff back there. So. Yep, yeah boy! So, I'm just waiting on my load. Once I get my load, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, secure what I gotta do. We are heading to Tennessee today, so that's a good ride. I'm, I, my energy is like gone. I barely slept, like at all. So we're gonna be running off of monster drinks. I actually have some, hold on. Cause uh, let's see, I got two. I don't even drink monster. I got this one and then I got, doo -doo 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 -doo. come on girl, what else? Where are you at? This one right here. Um, I'll catch y'all later. So hey. I'm not uh that um appealing. Yes, you are. When my uh I don't know what the fuck to say. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, so what? How much? How many cars I got? You got one going to Chattanooga, zero coming back. I got zero going out and eight coming back. Which he's going to? Uh, you going to make Augusta. it? Augusta. Augusta. Eight. I can. It ain't gonna take me long to load eight cars. And then I'll probably you take me about 35, 40 minutes. Man, it's really gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a good night. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, strap up my straps and get her done. They got us, we got our Western Stars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I showed them the inside already. Your low lights on? Are they? Oh, yeah, electric cords. You got two. You got two more buttons. Wait, oh, I got to yep, and one more, yeah. Oh. And then, uh, what else? I don't need my strobe lights on. Oh, it's mine's on. Oh. And what else? Uh, what else? That's it. Hey, this shit weird as fuck. <laughs> then you got this. I was wondering how to get some you light got in dome here. light back there. Oh, so you just press it? Huh? You just press it? Yeah. Oh, mm, okay, cool. Yes, sir. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this buttoned up and uh, we're gonna bounce. I'm gonna help Robbie with his. Robbie got six going out. Oh, okay. What's I, going on? Y'all know me. I don't like that number one position. I got Johnny up there doing it. <laughs> uh -uh, I don't like that position. If, if I can avoid it at all times, I will. I really will. See, I don't like, I don't like stepping over that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have. I don't know if your boots still good. Hell no. See? You see that shit? You fall back, it's over. Huh? <laughs> Sorry for the terrible quality. But I was actually supposed to leave out of here with zero cars. But the other driver that I'm going to Tennessee with, he has eight cars. So I went ahead and took four of his. That just makes it easier for everybody. So I have four cars on me. Like I stated before, I really don't like to film at the inspection centers. So I'll show you the four cars. 
when I get to the market and then we'll unload from there and yeah so this truck has a driver facing camera in it Carvana's putting driver facing cameras in the trucks now oh my god I'm gonna get fired no I'm playing <laughs> but yeah I'll I, I, I catch y'all later hey y'all what's up what's poppin we are on the road and let me tell y'all it feels so different to um drive a semi truck with a nose like this it feels so different but the western star it's it's um what's the word it's very smooth i'm not gonna lie to you it's a lot smoother than the freightliner and the road that takes the first exit any other freightliner that i've driven so this is a roundabout and i'm tripping but yeah i really like this truck it is very nice but um i'm pulling up to a pilot so that we can fuel I wanted to go to girl heads. I wanted to go to a loves, but I don't know any loves. I don't know the exit that the loves is at that's along my route. So we just gonna have to see. All right, this dog gonna get ran over. My boy don't move. Hi, buddy. You see the dog? Hi, buddy. Hey, bud. I wanted to go to Love's because I have my Love's card, so you know that's points. But you know, I don't have my pilot. I don't have my pilot card on me. So it is what it is. Let's go ahead and fuel up. My card right here. Oh, where are my gloves? They are over there somewhere. All right, let's fuel up, y'all.
All right, so I have these four cars to unload, and then I have one car to load. So we should be out of here easy peasy greasy. Am I right? Huh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, that's what this was. I'm like, where the hell is my strap at? So this is a ratchet. This is one of these ratchet straps. It's kind of weird sometimes. There we are. like Wendy. That's bad it is. Fucking Wendy is here. Keep those straps on real quick so that um, cars won't fall off. Right now, um, doing number 17. Those are those ramps that's back there. Uh, 12 and 13 and we're lifting these so that we can get these pins out these are the pins for your decks and you always want to set your decks so that it doesn't fall and collapse we don't want that to happen do we no so that's what that is for since I'm back here let's go ahead and Go ahead and drag this out. All right, gotta take the pins out on this side and then we're gonna lower the deck. Thirteen. Ten is usually all the way down, but you know, sometimes it's not. Come on, bitch. There we go. I'm not using gloves today because my gloves are wet. So it is what it is. You wanna be a truck driver, you can't be scared of a little bit of dirt. So, you know, you know the vibes.
I left the hook there because it's acting like an asshole, so it's fine. <coughs> bad boys Y'all about slow as hell. He's in my pocket for right now. GLA is white. I saw that now. Um, did I take that? It's fine. Grab the keys. Oh, I hate climbing these things. 
<laughs> so close. This stuff right here is will scratch your skin off. This mirror is kind of broken, so. Sorry if y'all can't see the mirror, but you know. This bitch is in reverse, right? Okay. <laughs> Don't want to drive off this bitch. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> I almost jumped that rip. <laughs> Don't want to jump that bad boy. I was a little too close to the middle. So my driver's side tires were gonna go in the middle and you do not want that to happen. You just don't. You'll have to wait for a tow truck to get out of here and lift your ass up. And you do not <laughs> want that. It is too cold for that. Extremely too cold for that. All right, y'all. Battery ended up dying, but that's fine because I got some more. Uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and connect this to there. Let's slide this out real quick. I'm sliding out number six. That way. And then, uh, this, that, this, that should actually be good. We're gonna, this is called number 11. You see the numbers? We're gonna lift that up. We're gonna lift up number 10. 10 is up and 11 is horizontal. So we lift that up. Then we drag this all the way out, number 11, until uh, it stops for the most part. Um, what I'm doing, I'm pressing this button, the electric hooks, but you're not supposed to do that, but everybody else does it, so you're not supposed to use the electric hoist while your PTO is on because it's supposed it messes up the transmission, but everybody does it, so yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna let this down, cool bands. All right, now let's go over there and get this Jeep off. Make sure my ramps are good. They should be fine. And then I'm gonna load my Mercedes. I'm gonna load it in the number four, uh, no. <laughs> number four position, which is up here. <laughs> I was gonna have to put this bitch in neutral and ride off. Can't put it in neutral if you can't put the car on. Never mind. Put a brake and brake. Cool. Alright. We should be good for the most part. Just making sure. We are good. We're off the ramp. Bust is Yui. Right? Oh, I can turn these off. All right, I'm gonna drop this car off, drop these keys off, pick up the key that I need to pick up, and um, we'll find my car. Beans. All right. Really? Really? Huh? Cool. 
<laughs> no, you're you're good. You, uh, Johnny? You know Johnny, right? Uh, black guy, short black guy, old boy. Yes, yes. He told me you have a 19 year old daughter. Is that true? Yeah. And you do. Outside. You do not look like you have older kids. That's what I was telling him. Wow, I told him, I was like, I would have thought he's in his late 20s. <laughs> All right, guys, so apparently I don't have any cars. <laughs> so, I could have stayed my black ass home. But, uh, we still have to tie down everything. Can't have any loosey goosies. No, I'm saying. Couldn't have any loosey gooseies. Try not to get my fingers caught. Okay, cool. One time I accidentally left my bar on my truck. Like it was just like laying, it was laying like flat down. For a whole three hour drive, that shit was still on my truck. You gotta be careful with that type of stuff because it's dangerous, man. If that would have if that would have knocked in somebody's windshield, I would have been fucked. <laughs> I would have been fucked, big time, right in the ass. That's one thing about low security, man. You are responsible for a lot of shit, so you better be on it. basically our paperwork all right y'all so let me show you what happens when we when um we're supposed to pick up a car but it's not here i'm sorry but our keys aren't um there or um it won't start so i'm supposed to pick up a white mercedes benz right let me make sure you guys can see so i'm supposed to pick up a white mercedes benz but because my keys aren't there um we hit the status under it says status and then there's a drop down menu and you have quit not from vehicle quit not service the keys overweight all that stuff we're gonna go with missing keys right let's go ahead and click done and usually like if we do have um if we do have the car and everything works we put what position we loaded it in and if it's forward or reverse there are certain positions that need that have to be reversed, which is why they do that. And if there's any damage or anything, we take pictures. So, failed missing keys. I'm gonna go ahead down here and submit. And boom. And deep part is it's gonna show red. But if we do have the card and everything's fine, it usually shows green. So now we're gonna depart. Bada bing, bada boom, y'all. That's basically our paperwork. <laughs> okay. Um, just check my logs real quick. Just show you guys my logs real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and sign these logs. These are the logs from yesterday. But these are my logs for today. It is 3.26 a.m. All right. What the fuck is that noise? Anyways, let's go ahead and ride out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna give y'all a little bit of drive time, man. I'm gonna play my music. Oops. Let that bad boy cycle. That bitch cycle quick as hell. All right, let's turn our PTO off. Don't need that bad boy on. Let's turn you off. Oh, I guess I keep it. Yeah. All right, trailer. Oh, we gotta turn our load lights off. Those are the lights that's back there. You guys see the view back there? Okay, cool. Uh, I'll go ahead and put this bad boy in reverse.
Now let's go get seat. Damn, my phone just hanging. Let's put you down somewhere.
if we're gonna be leasing a truck, if we're basically gonna be owner operators, it shouldn't be like that, in my personal opinion. We shouldn't be paying for a govern truck. We shouldn't be paying for the basic trim of a truck. If we're gonna lease a truck, that shit needs to be premium. It needs to be decked out. It needs to at least have heated seats. Real has basic trucks, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not bashing real, I'm just, you know, I'm just talking, you know what I'm saying? So that's just my opinion. I don't I don't want to pay for a truck. I don't want to make those big payments on a truck when the truck isn't even premium. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't got no bathroom in it or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit don't got no table at the bottom. That shit don't got no LED lights. Like, come on now. Come on now. Daytime, whatever they call it. But that's just my opinion or whatever. But yeah, <laughs> welcome to my talk. But um, just a little bit of advice for anybody that e that's even thinking about drugging. Do your research, take your time, and the first year is going to be rocky. That's all I can tell you. That's all I'm going to tell you. And that's all I'm going to tell you for right now. It's, it's going to be rocky. The first year is going to be your hardest. You're going to want to quit like me. I was like, fuck this shit. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Over the road, tuh, yeah, fuck that shit. But, like, locally, mm -hmm, I love it here, okay? But that over the road stuff, yeah, y'all can miss me with that. Mm -mm, I ain't going back over the road. Unless Carvana has, like, some over the road thing going on. I ain't going back over the road. I wouldn't mind doing car hauling over the road, but, you know. And that's another thing, like... I call drive-in, I call flatbed, Conestogas, curtain side, and now I'm a car hauler. And you would think, dude, you would think drive-in would be the easiest motherfucking job. But honestly, I feel like it is to an extent, like, at least from the last company that I was working with. I remember I was doing like three, two, three, four loads a day as a local driver and um, I would be exhausted because I'm working 12, 13, I'm in 14 hour shifts, you know what I'm saying? I still gotta go home, they want me back in 10 hours, you know what I'm saying? Or 12, what's it 12? Shit, basically. And it's like, you know, it's completely different. I don't even work 10 hours a day. You know what I'm saying? Today is a short day. I had, I basically didn't have any cars at all today. I just helped the driver. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see, I started my shift at what? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. I should be back in Georgia at 5 six o'clock that is a six seven hour work day you know what i'm saying and now i don't have to come back in until 11 tomorrow so that's that gives me more than 12 hours to rest that gives me time to go home and chill and i didn't really have that time as a local drive-in driver at real you know what i'm saying so it's it's really not the amount it's really not how the work is done it's the amount of work that is done really i'm sorry i think i kind of twisted that but to just like compare really you know um let me put it like this you're driving you're you're a driving driver right and you're sitting down you know you're just driving and you're comfortable now you gotta get out and, and go crank that damn fucking landing gear and then hop your ass back in the motherfucking drive-in and then you gotta wait you gotta wait okay you get all comfortable oh trailer's done you, let's go okay you go drive that low and you go drop off another one and pick up another one and drop off another one it's like it's it's work how can i put it you're doing work and in increments and in different it's like different set of times like you're working at 8 then 10 then 3 then 6 then 9 p.m. you know what I'm saying versus when I'm doing car hauling all my work is at once I drive then it's work at once I drive boom I'm done it's easy 
easy work. I honestly think this job is easy work. My biggest challenge with this job is that shit up there. Number one position. I hate it. I hate it so much as y'all seen before. I avoid that position at all times because I don't think I was scared of heights, but apparently I am. So it is what it is. That's just something you have to get used to. I'll get used to it. A lot of people tell me you get used to it over time. You just really have to adjust to your job. Now this job isn't for everybody. It's not for everybody. A lot of people, they were like, no, I'm opening doors and I'm closing them and that's it. That's fine. That's completely fine, dude. But this car hauling shit, this car hauling shit, y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's fun as hell. You know what I'm saying? You get like a different challenge every day. All right, boom, how I'm gonna load this load? I got nine cars. How the fuck I've been alone with all nine cars? How many pickup trucks I got? Can they all fit? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? And then you get the workout. You're active. I burn at least 800 calories a day at this job alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I really love my job and it's just, it's phenomenal. I'm so glad that I got my CDL at 21. I knew what I was doing. That was my plan. I was like, boom, I'm gonna get my CDL at 21. Then in 10 years, you know what I'm saying? I could be making big bucks. Baby, it's shit. I've been making big bucks in damn near two years. I don't even have two years of experience on me, y'all. I really don't. I'm, uh, two years will be July. Not even, yeah, July, that's it. That's another thing. What do y'all consider experience over the road? Because Let's say you're a regional driver, right? In the South, excuse me. And you've been driving for 10 years, but you never drove in a lick of snow. You know what I'm saying? You never had a blowout. You've been hauling one trailer, bam, for them whole 10 years. Whereas you have somebody who are one to two years under their belt. They driven all four seasons. They chained up, they driven on mountains. They had blowouts. They haul all these different type of trailers. Which one would you, which driver would you consider the most experienced? That's my, that's my question. Because do you consider more time holding your CDL as experience or more, you know, going through hell over the road as experience? Because I remember when I first started Carvana and I was training with the, uh, with someone and they were like, damn, you got, I've been driving for so-and-so years, but I never driven in snow. So basically you got more experience than me. I'm like, hmm, I never thought of it like that. I always looked at experience as the amount of years you've been driving. But really, what, I mean, I guess you can, I don't know. What do y'all think? What do you consider experience? You know what I'm saying? That's the question of the day. What do y'all consider experience? Please let me know in the comments. I would really like to know. Would you consider a driver that has been driving for 10 years straight, but has never driven in snow, only hauled van or reefer, but you know, never had any blowouts or anything, but driving for 10 years versus the complete opposite. Blowout, snow, mountains, all that wonderful stuff that I named before. Which one would you consider the most experience? That's my question of the day, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you guys enjoyed my talk. And um, I will catch you guys in another haul and hustle. Let me know if you guys are loving this series I got going on. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.